Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today we're going to be talking about what sh you should buy with Platinum early on into the game. So, of course, this is a matter of opinion, so if you have money, spend your Platinum on whatever you want, because, hey, who cares? It's obviously up to you. If you don't know, Platinum is the premium currency in Warframe, which is also tradable amongst players, creating a somewhat okay broken mess of a real world economy in relation to Platinum. But you can also buy everything from the market with Platinum, you know, the premium currency. So I just kind of want to go over the market, take a look at some things, and just give my opinion on what you should and should not buy. I've done things like these before in the past, and hey, it's been a while, so why not? First and foremost, I would only ever really start messing around and buying things with Trade Chat if you're somewhat familiar with prices, or if you're decent with Warframe.market and, you know, haggling with people in general. If not, you do have the marketplace right here. Warframe does have a million other things you can spend your Platinum on in random shops here and there. Kind of like for the Foundry, you can spend Platinum to rush things, which I would recommend you never do because it's a huge waste of Platinum. But hey, you do you. You do you. But other than that, the market's the big place you're gonna go to. The main things I buy are definitely slots. So here is pretty much what I would buy for the most part. Once you get some more Arcwing weapons and you need more, buy more Arcwing weapon slots. If you need more companion slots, buy those. Component and armament slots, only buy those if you need it. Same with the Necromex, same with the Operator Amp, Weapons, Warframe, Vehicle, Riven, Mod, Slots. So slots are pretty much the most important thing to buy in Warframe, in my opinion. More slots you have, the more of that thing you can have. I have over a hundred weapons, and I've bought a ton of weapon slots. I have a ton of Warframes, and I've bought a lot of Warframe slots. Slots essentially just give you way more flexibility and fun in the game, when you actually have a lot of choice and different builds between Warframes and weapons, so hey. If you don't want to buy slots and you're the weird type of player that only plays two things and will always and forever play it like that, I mean, I don't know why I'm kind of calling myself out on this, but... Yeah, if you do that, whatever you do you, as long as you're having fun, right? Three Riven slots for 60 Platinum is an insane price in my opinion, but hey, Warframe has to make money somehow, so they'll do them. It's important to note that most Warframes, weapons, and simple things in the shop, you can just purchase the blueprint itself. Do not start buying weapons with Platinum, especially things like the Aphurus and just other low level. This is a huge noob trap that Digital Extremes has in place. Like, 225 Platinum for any fuck off weapon is just a massive scam. So, never do that. Always buy blueprints for literally any weapon. Or try to find out alternatively where you can purchase this weapon or the blueprints or where you can farm them in the game. Because most things that give you mastery rank should be farmable in-game. Not necessarily all because, you know, Excalibur Prime, but pretty much all of them. So slots, naturally, are some of the most important things. I wouldn't really bother with loadout slots, but you can do those. Oh, I don't think you can buy them in the market. You probably have to go buy them at your loadout on your Warframe. But hey, that's up to you. Now, let's just hang out and slowly go through some stuff. We always have the featured collection, and these are generally just cosmetic stuff with some boosters. Always buy these if you want your stuff to look beautiful and you have the platinum to spend. I mean, you can always just get more platinum via trading, so it's not a huge issue. I would never buy relic packs, like ever. 50 platinum for relic packs, kind of a ripoff when you can just buy it for other stuff, but if you're a platinum trader, sure, do whatever you want, right? People love buying boosters, and I would recommend buying a booster, depending on what you feel like doing at the time. Oh, there we go. So boosters are great. You can get them for 3 days for 40 platinum, 7 days for 80, or 30 days for 200. So it's really up to you on that one. I would just buy the 3-day the boosters and grind stuff out hard, but if you have other stuff to grind, if you have a lot of free time, it's up to you. 
Generally, the featured will always have new interesting things, but you never have to buy anything. Like, all of this is just optional to buy. I have Bone Widow, I have the Void Rig, I have Cedo, I have a Lavos. You have this, you can get this helmet and just, you can just get this easily. And it's, yeah. So there are a ton of noob traps in that regard in the Warframe shop, market, etc. I wouldn't really buy anything. Cosmetics are the one thing that you should spend platinum on because, you know, that's the whole point of cosmetics. It's to just give money to digital extremes to support the game. But again, this is all up to you. Mods and endo, all of this is essentially a waste of platinum. Since you can pretty easily farm up all of these mods in-game, it just seems like a waste to buy it with platinum. Same with the transmutation core packs, but... Eh, these ones are slightly better, I guess, because at least they serve more of a purpose, but I wouldn't buy anything in this area. Like, mods and endo, no. Never buy resources from the market, like flat resources, because it is such a waste. Animation sets, sure, buy that. Armor sets, sure, buy that. Like, it's just cosmetics, so that's fine, but dear god, do not buy individual resources because it's just such a waste, okay? Boosters are good, skins are fine, color palettes are beautiful. I wouldn't waste platinum on any of these Exilus adapters or Aura Formas. Oh my god, that's 80 platinum? Yeah, no, I wouldn't waste money on that. I wouldn't bother buying Formas either, really, but it's always up to like how you spend and create platinum and how you feel like playing. I think color palettes are one of the more popular uh, cosmetic purchases just because colors are beautiful, but hey, who knows? You can buy... you can buy mutagen mass. Never, never buy these. Don't, 10 platinum for a mutagen mass is an insane ripoff, so the market has a ton of noob traps. You can buy a 450 rubido for 30 platinum. In my opinion, Warframe should remove things like these from the market. They haven't, but they definitely should, because it's just such a huge noob trap when people think they might need to buy resources, or they think it's good value, when honestly, the value's absolutely garbage. But hey, it's always up to you. I wouldn't bother buying things. Pretty much anything in the components list, do not bother buying it with Platinum. Always buy it with credits. I don't think I actually need these, but I'm buying it anyways, because I can. Huh, get wrecked. I'll probably need them eventually. Like a Talarium for 10 Platinum, I'm sorry. I'm just really annoyed that the components exists as a thing in Warframe, because trust me, all of this stuff is absolutely worthless in relation to the price of Platinum that it costs. And it's, it's kind of infuriating. It's kind of infuriating. Because DE refuses to ever take it out of the shop. I'm assuming it's because they just hope some sad, sad noobs will accidentally buy their stuff. But who knows? Yeah, I'm just going to quickly buy up these blueprints because, I mean, I probably should do that. The nice thing about the market is you have a ton of blueprints you can spend on and buy with credits. So unless you have millions of credits and you're you know, early on in the game, you're gonna have a lot of stuff to actually buy up in here, so... Not a huge issue, not a huge issue, but it will take time. That's why I would always recommend buying slots. So, companions are cool and all. You can buy the DNA stabilizers here for credits, but I wouldn't really bother spending any platinum here either. But again, guys, do whatever you want. If you want to just spend all your money, if you're rich, who fucking cares, right? You do you. You know your own finances. If you go homeless, then you're just crazy. So don't spend all your money on Warframe. Spend responsibly. And then you have bundles. If you want to get a lot of stuff, these aren't really too bad. But as you can see, it's terrible value for things like these because I can farm up most of it in the game. And then I end up spending 645 platinum on... Wow. Boosters, a probe decoration, and the Sindana. Sayandana, sorry. Because they don't reduce the price, so... Never buy that. Never buy this, like, type of thing whatsoever, when it's a bundle that includes things you can farm in the game. If it's like this, a bundle where you get three skins for 225 platinum, that's way better 
than 645 platinum with most of the things already farmed. So I would just keep in mind that these bundles can be okay, but I wouldn't recommend buying them because you can farm them in game. But it's just the thing Warframe does is they make certain things a pain in the ass to get, umbral formas, and damn near huge time gates. So I guess always take that into account. There's a ton of bundles, as you can see. This game has been in development for pretty much 10 years almost. So yeah, it's got a lot of stuff to sell. So pretty much into conclusion, buy stuff you need that you can't farm in game, like slots, and don't spend money on things you don't want or don't need. But of course, it's always up to you. Skins look dope as hell. While you might not need to purchase them, you could. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I just wanted to make a small platinum video just talking about what you can buy because, hey, haven't done one of these in a while. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike the video. Follow my Twitter and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.